Hi everyone. Well, what a challenging year. From the bushfires to COVID, uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to all the families that have been affected. Today is September 10th and Victoria is still in stage four lockdown. But we have a rule in our house that when we complain, we have to give a compliment. So today I want to thank God for his provision, his safety, his leadership, and our amazing volunteers across the state who have gone above and beyond to support people in need. You have truly represented the values of justice, compassion, and love. We have seen many answers to prayer, 11th hour answers where we've run out of breakfast cereal and then a heritage college teacher comes in and says that they're building a wall of wee -bix. And then other answers to prayer where two or three people have come and they want to support in an area. And this is how Lakeside Seventh-day Adventist Church in Pakenham reopened. It says in the Bible when two or three people are gathered in his name, he is there also. Initially, it began by supporting a few families, then to about 30 families, and now to about 65 families because the need is, has been so great during COVID. So I encourage you to reach out, to step out in faith, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Thank you, church, so much for your support. Hi, um, I've, I'm here at Adra today collecting food uh, for my family. Uh, we like everyone, started to struggle with COVID when my hours got drastically cut back. Uh, we worked out all our finances and we could afford our bills and our mortgage, but there was no money left for food. Uh, we had no idea what we were going to do. My partner frantically was looking for relief and she came across Deb and she's been great. She's helped us so much. Uh, we get uh, we've got more, more than enough food for us and my little boy's three, he's been helping us uh, deliver to our neighbours. So whatever we can't get through, we give to all our neighbours and it's, it's helping a lot of people, it's not just helping us. And it makes us feel good. So thank you guys. Thank you, Adra. Most of our cities are in lockdown. Businesses, shopping centres, playgrounds and church buildings are all currently closed. Most of society are confined to their homes. But there is activity as volunteers from every walk of life are coming together and working with ADRA to make a difference in their communities. And not just for the vulnerable or for those on the margins of society, but those most at risk at this difficult and challenging time. G'day guys, um, I was brought up a Catholic Christian, I'm no longer religious, I lost my faith in large organisations a long time ago, but I'm old enough to realise how valuable it is to help. Um, I've been lucky enough that I have a personal relationship with ADRA, uh, which is an organisation that I trust fully and that's why my wife and I are here now helping out. Um, what I've learnt over my, my time is that if you can help, help, if you need help, ask, because everyone helps from the process. Hi everyone, we're here at Pakenham again and uh, look we've had some amazing stories coming through from our community, for the people we're sharing with, uh, people who seem to think we're giving them too much food so they're actually sharing it with their neighbours, they're taking their young children with them and sharing it with their neighbours, elderly neighbours. Um, it's been a blessing, uh, we've had so many people come in and help us, um, community members, driving, volunteering, it's been huge. Um, I'm a bit tired tonight. We've had a really, really busy day today, so I'm a little bit brain dead. But um, yeah, it's been an amazing blessing day. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to spend the day before Sabbath. Hi, my name's John. I am an ex-homeless person. I've been on the streets about 50 years. Uh, I've been working with Adra for the last four years, helping them introduce them to the homeless people on the street so they can get their food and services what they need. I'd like to say thanks to Adra for coming out and my lovely friend Beck for helping, for, um, helping me to introduce everyone to Adra. I'd like to say thank you very much. Most churches usually only meet once a week or they might have something else during the week, but we've found since the COVID crisis that we are meeting, uh, opening our church and using it to support the community seven days a week. Our ADRA food pantry here has been running for over 40 years, but we are finding ourselves working uh, to support the community in a different way this time, and it's been very well received. 
hey, I've been out here helping with ADRA and it's been such an exciting, challenging and interesting time, you know, and while our church buildings are shut, no one's going there, the lights are off, the pews are empty, it would seem like Christianity is shut off in a sense. But I think now is a time more than ever where we've actually been showing our faith, where we've been responding to the crisis and showing Christianity its true colors. And ADRA has been responding to the needs of the community, uh, putting together packs and essential items for, for families in need. And it's been a great way to actually respond and to build community and to demonstrate true Christian faith faith and love during this time. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm 13 years old and here I'm at Queen Victoria helping out homeless people who are in need and help. So what we do here is we serve food that people are in need and I'm a volunteer doing soups. So you can see um, people have their own stories. We talk to them, help them what's going on in their lives and how can we um, prevent that what's going on so um, yeah that's what we've been doing for every week since COVID started and that's what I love doing sharing um, my life stories what's going on what's happened to them and just interacting with each other that's what I like here socializing with each other so yeah